Hey, I'm Chloe from Career Foundry. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the difference between a web developer and a web designer. There's a lot of confusion surrounding the difference between web development and web design. It's true that there are some huge similarities between them, and the two roles do go hand in hand, but they have different processes, use different tools, and even have different salaries. In this video, we'll take a look at the differences between the two roles, including tools, portfolio presentation, salary, and soft skills, as well as the definitions of each role. By the end of this video, you should have a clear sense of the key differences between web design and web development, and what is required to become a web developer or a web designer. Let's start off by taking a look at the definitions of both a web designer and a web developer. A web designer is responsible for the aesthetic design of the website, as well as the experience of the website for the user. Basically, the way the website looks and feels. A website designer has the tricky task of integrating user experience into their design, all the while keeping in mind the branding, colour palettes, topography and readability of the website to ensure it's both eye-catching and usable. A web developer takes those designs and turns them into a live, functioning and error-free website. In other words, they build the actual interface through which users interact with the website. In order to ensure a website's functionality, web developers use web languages such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript, as well as various software application tools in order to code and build the structure of the site. A good way of looking at it is by thinking of web designers as architects creating blueprints for a new home, and web developers builders who turn those blueprints into a real home that the clients can live in. Just as architects and builders collaborate to create a beautiful home for the client, web developers and designers work symbiotically to create an amazing product for the user. This brings us on to our next question. What are the tools used by web designers and developers? As web designers are responsible for the website's aesthetic, they typically use graphic design software such as Photoshop, Illustrator, Figma and Sketch. Tools used to construct wireframes and prototypes to determine the website's layout. Web designers are also responsible for how users navigate through a product and even website analytics. We've already touched on the fact that web developers use programming languages to create the website's code. But they also use web languages to set up email services, user authentication, databases and other technical aspects of websites. To do this, developers use software like text editors, a command line interface and version control to build the features that will present the data. Now let's take a look at the differences in portfolio presentation between the two roles. Both web designers and web developers need a good portfolio to showcase their skills and experience for future employers and clients. However, web designers and web developers tend to use different services to create their portfolios. For example, a designer might use websites that offer the ability to showcase their expertise in colour schemes, graphic design ability and creativity, such as Behance or Dribbble. On the other hand, web developers tend to rely on websites like GitHub that demonstrate how well the developer can refactor and abstract their code to be elegant and readable to other web developers or cloud-based website hosting services like AWS and Heroku to display static websites and web applications that they might have created. It's time to talk about the subject on everyone's lips. Money. Out of the two roles, who owns more? According to Glassdoor, the average salary in the United States for web developers is slightly higher than the average salaries for web designers. However, this is subject to many variables, including location, experience and skill sets. To get a real sense of what each role earns, it's important to do your own research. Websites like Glassdoor, Payscale and Indeed are great for comparing salaries in your specific area. So, what are the soft skills required in both roles? Many people use the terms left-brained and right-brained when drawing the comparison between web designers and web developers. This is to suggest that people who think more linearly and logically are left-brained dominant and will enjoy web development, while people who are more creative and possess an artistic nature are right-brained dominant and will flourish in web design. However, there are multiple studies that debunk these theories. So don't think you're more likely to do better in one area than another because you're more creative or more logical. An artist can be as proficient at web development as a mathematician can be as creatively skilled at web design. 
Now that we've looked at the differences in tools, portfolios and skill sets, you might be wondering which career is for me. While there are quite a few notable differences, the good news is that a web developer can be a web designer as much as a web designer can choose to be a web developer. In fact, either career choice may require you to have adequate functioning knowledge of the other field. For example, successful developers will know how to use colour schemes and topography in creating wireframes and layouts, just as successful designers will understand basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript techniques to understand the technical limitations of their creative layouts and user experience specifications. Either way, it's important to do your research before making a decision. So now you know the difference between web designers and web developers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be sure to check out the blog for more tips, insights and information on both web design and development. Thanks for watching and see you next time.